For this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be talking about new game, Sons of the Forest. When you load into the game, you're going to see a few different options, like single player, multiplayer, and obviously options, and exit. But for right now, I'm going to be talking about the single player, and especially new game. When you click single player, you have two options. Either continue, as in continue an old game that you were played and saved. And if you haven't, obviously, if you haven't done new game before, you know, give the option. And the option is new game, to start with a new world and start again. If you look, you see four different difficulty settings and a custom one. I'll explain them. The peaceful game mode is the easiest game mode. It's not exactly peaceful, as in like Minecraft peaceful with no mobs, no hostile mobs at all. There's still going to be cannibals and enemies, but a lot less. And they won't be roaming around on the overworld. They'll mostly be in the caves and bunkers. And it also has all the easy settings on. If you want to just play the game, relax, and just build and have fun, this is perfect for you. If you want an adventure and actually fight things, you might want to move on to the next difficulty. The normal game mode is, as it says, normal. It's made to be the specifically how the game is made to be. All the settings are default, everything is default, and the enemies are default, everything. This is how it's intended to be played. And that's how, in fact, the majority of people play it. Just normal. It's also the only game mode I've really played besides normal and peaceful. It's the only two game modes I've played ever since the forest. Hard modes for the people in life who find the easy things boring. If you want a little more adventure, a little more pain, a little more struggle, hard mode's perfect for, you, perfect for you. The seasons are longer, there's more enemies, and more damage, and more health for them. Everything wants to kill you, and everything's a lot harder. Exactly the name, hard mode. And then the last difficulty we have is the hardest one. That's hard survival mode. Everything that we've had is now worse. Everything you fight get against is much stronger. Everything you need to do to live takes a whole lot more. And everything does damage to you. If you hate yourself, this game mode's perfect for you. If you hate playing games and want to get out as soon as you can, this mode's perfect for you. If you're a wuss, go back to peaceful mode. This one's for the real men. But yeah, everything is to the extreme. Everything will try to kill you. Everything will. It's not for not for newbies, I'll tell you that. For the custom settings, it's pretty easy to guess what they do. In fact, it tells you if you actually look over it. So I don't know why I have to tell you what it does. We can just look for yourself. But I still have to, and I'm going to. For the enemies guide, you gotta turn the enemies on or off. I don't know if it's for every single enemy, at least at least the ones in the overall I know that. Enemy health, you can change it from low to I believe high or realistic. And it's about the same for everything else. With enemy health, just how much the health and how much damage it can take. For the enemy damage, how much damage they do to you, and usually the weapons. The enemy armor is how much armor they may spawn with and will wear. Because especially when you get later into the game, they get a lot more armor on. Not stronger armor. Enemy aggression is how often they attack you, and if they will attack you in general, or run away like little pussies. They tend to do that as well. And then the animal amounts. I don't know why it's in the enemies. It probably should be in environments, you know. But it is here, and the animal amounts. Tummy, I believe, hostile ant mobs spawn around. What do I call them mobs or animals? For the environment, you get obviously a starting season. Remember the. When you start the world, that's what the season is when you start it. It doesn't affect the length of the seasons or anything like that. And, I, for the love of God, I hope you know the seasons. There's only four of them. It's not that hard to know. Then you get the season length and the day length. That's pretty easy to know. It's just how long season and day last for. That would be really short, really long, or be realistic. Then the last one, just how often it arranges snows. It, it does affect you a little bit in the game, but it's not that much. The survival section affects a lot of the actual gameplay. Especially how easy it is to live, as soon as you pretty darn important. And survival damage is basically anything like starvation, under cold, or any of that. If it can actually do damage to you, if you're suffering from it. So if you turn it off, you won't starve to death. I don't know what will happen, your body's really hungry, but you won't die. That's good. The consumable effects are the damage you take from some poisonous or little spoiled items. Like a lot of the mushrooms and other flowers. I don't know why I put in my mouth, but I do. And from the spoiled meat. 
normally if it's on, the terminal effects are on normal or hard or whatever, if it's on, you will take damage from eating those. If it's off, you're perfectly fine. You can just chow ahead. The cold penalty is pretty simple. If it gets too cold, like in the mountains or in the rain, you start taking damage until you heat up by a flame. The next three about the containers. You find those all over the world in bunkers and even the helicopter crash in different camps. In those containers, when you open them, I know it's client's item as well, but there is food in them and usually other items. If you change the settings, you can get rid of some of that and make it a lot harder to find a lot of food and ammo. It makes you have to conserve your stuff a lot more, which obviously makes it harder for the game. Again, if you like that, <laughs> go for it. I don't. And then the last is just, if you have your inventory open and you're looking for stuff and the world is paused, basically you won't get attacked and bootied when you're going through your stuff. And that's it. That's all the custom difficulty settings and all the difficulties. That's all you need to know. Thanks for watching.